It's kind of how the cookie crumbles. You know, you don't really decide. It just does it on its own. And it looks like they're going right into a game one on Dreamland. Big Foig already wow. starting off with some heavy aggression, netting a firm 65% and counting. Lemon trying to retaliate somehow. Yeah, you know, uh, for this matchup, it's Falco does have a lot of free stuff on Doc, but Lemon just so good at excelling in the scenarios where the punish is dropped and he, he's, rec he's recognized it and he's ready to punish back. All right, there we go. 66% not bad. Gets sent by the reverse hit of the Nair. It's going to be able to get to that ledge pretty safely. Ooh, but does an accidental neutral get up. Big Foy recognizes that and punishes with a down to of his own to send him pack into the skies. Yeah, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how Big Foy deals with the the pill approach back to stage. Uh, Younger definitely doing a good job of it earlier, but Foy's a different Falco. Uh, yeah. We can't expect all the Falcos to have the same answer to the same problem. Ooh, wow, nice forward tail catching him right there and just narrowly not making it on stage yeah. with that Phantasm. Ooh, roll in by Lemon, gets punished with the Shine out of Shield. All right, there's some Shine. I think you're standing neutral. Either way, Mary just to wow. retaliate and, and no! DI! None! Yeah. Nada! Get that out you of here. You saw him buddy. holding it back out because of the tech roll, and he kept right. holding it. And then after that, the forward smash just cleans it up. Lemon with great recognition there, knowing what his opponent's doing. Whew! Man, that, but that defibrillator <laughs> was so toasty. I, was, I got brought back to life from that, man. <laughs> exactly. It was around, what, 60%? Wow. Ooh, another one. And Lemon's just tossing him off the stage. Ooh, a double four there was kind of cute, though. Big Foig saying, hey, hold on. Don't forget about me. I'm still here. I'm yeah, still a crowd pleaser. Foig dropping the dot zep tag. Thinking, he, uh, you know, thinking he's a legend himself. He's got the Foig tag on. He's, he's definitely feeling himself. But, uh, yeah, definitely not. Definitely not an easy matchup. Definitely having an issue with uh, figuring out the dock. And I think Lemon just has an overall easier time of grabbing Big Foy. We saw a lot of time when he was playing younger, yeah. he was struggling a lot in the neutral to be able to get those grabs. But it was a lot of well done spacing from yeah. younger that kind of just made it hard for him to do it. These dares could be spaced a little bit better. Could space yeah. the back airs, the up tilts, play a little more lame, you know? Doc, doc can't do much about that. Yeah, you know what? Now as you say that, uh, Lemon with the younger set was throwing out his cape quite a lot to earn those neutral exchanges. You don't see him doing that much right. at all here. It, it, it might be in tune the fact that Big Floyd, just in general, doesn't throw out as many lasers uh, as Younger does. Yeah, you know what? I think it is, is that Lemon's got the time advantage. He's generally up in these scenarios, keeping the pressure on and throwing out the pill before Foig has a chance to act. Foig treating it as if Doc has control of the neutral and eating the pills rather than throwing out his right. own lasers. We also saw like a, a little more of a extended wow. punish game, but Jesus Christ, That's, how many is he gonna land? Yeah, definitely fishing for that cape. Uh, waited a little bit too long on the edge guard and drops it right there. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely, oh, did he lose his double jump? Oh, he's gonna air dodge down, try to touch, he hasn't touched the stage yet, I don't think. Oh, Ooh, and Foy Foy. just absolutely flubbing with that laser. Ooh, he gets a little lucky yeah, there. Yeah, you see it's that pill that I'm talking about. Wow, just Lemon waited. just so good at placing it. Forward Lemon. Smash. Yeah completely threw that game yeah. away. We saw Big Foy do, well, we saw him charge the forward smash one. Yeah. And Lemon was like, I'm gonna punish this forward smash. But he second guessed himself. He did an invincible ledge dash. Was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be fully invincible and then shielded. Shielded it, could have very easily shield grabbed him, sent him backwards, but instead was way too slow and Foy was just able to retaliate and eventually get that forward smash we saw that made him get that game one. Wow, and the Fox coming out. You definitely see Foy probably not feeling the Falco chain grab on the FD yeah. counter pick. It just makes it so hard for him to recover. So we're gonna see the, the big flux, I guess. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see how that works out for yeah. him. Yeah, it's it's definitely gonna be interesting. We haven't seen the fox from Foig yet. Uh, you know, I think this is not exactly gonna be di so much different for Lemon. Uh, you know, Spaces is his bread and butter. I'm sure he's played way more Spaces than Foig has played Docs. Yeah, that's definitely the thing, cause like, you know, in New England, you don't learn the Dr. Mario matchup. You learn no. the Mr. Lemon matchup. Exactly. That's kind of like, that's the thing. He's, he's definitely one of few. There's not really many docs out there that people know of. I mean, there's like Stabino, the streamer. Right, and then I don't even know if Boss even plays Melee still. Yeah, so people really not doing their homework on docs. It's going to cost them, and you can see that with Big Foy grade right here, losing the first stock on the counter pick. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like when you go for a job and they give you job training, right? You really have to just kind of like, Learn it first and then work on it. But for, for Lemon, look at this. This is 9 yeah, to 5, man. He does butter. this for a living. He wow. does this for a living. 96% off of that exchange. Foy doing the early side B and losing that stock. Look at it. That was a wrap. That stock yeah. showed up and then disappeared. On to the next one.
Wow, no. <laughs> and the call out gets it anyways. <laughs> Nick, yeah, you suck. Lemon, I don't think you're coming back from that one. I am sorry. Jesus, that was so bad. <laughs> yeah, definitely did not look that good. That's that old fashioned melee where you know you just. You walked into the charge right. for it. Right. <laughs> it's you like, man. You feel like you're back in your, uh, your basement. You're five years old. You got melee for the first time. Right. You're spamming spin attack with, with Link on Hyrule Temple, oh, thinking man. it's the best move in the game. But instead. We are in 2017 where we got the big Fox uh, trying to hold it down, get that 92% Lemon, really trying to climb his way back. Lemon hasn't been able to get a grab yet this clock. As I say that, though, oh, dabs no. on him. It's a wrap. Ooh, reverse nair? Wow, yeah. Lemon's just so good with placing these nairs. Edge guarding, uh, you know, Falco's earlier on the side B, but in this one also catching the early jump recovery. Ooh, oh, okay. Wow. Almost rolled there. Would have yeah. caught him. Slipping. And now he gets sent off stage, goes for the low back air, able to get that sweet spot or maybe just get low enough to avoid it. And that's going to trade, actually, and send Lemon to the uh, to the skies. Yeah, you know, I don't think this is a good scenario that Foig wants to be in. He's at 53%. He's definitely at that knockdown percentage where Doc can kind of get that chain grab up the row. And from there, it's it might be a stock. Ooh, oh, goes Whoa. for the up throw, Kobe. Uh, not too bad of a whiff. I mean... At this percent, Fox won't die, but he will get sent off stage. Oh, yeah, and, uh, and that's the lemon stock. <sighs> Cheeky shine. Just one well-placed shine, and that's that's Doc for you. See you later. All right, here he goes. Wow. Ooh, almost gets that up smash. Yeah. It would have been something big, probably just a forward air straight oh, off. Oh, that double jump from lemon was actually terrible. Wow. But Foig very narrowly missing that shine to say, hey, wake up. Oh, wow, he goes for a forward smash right there. Ooh, the a forward tilt? No, oh, he whiffs. Probably should have gone for that cape. All right, he's going to try again, and we see Big Foig really coming back. He really just needs to land a hit. It doesn't matter what it is. Anything will send him off stage. There we go. He needs to get that edge guard. No, oh, why are you wow. going for an up smash, Lemon? What is happening right now? Okay, yeah, but, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the pinnacle <laughs> of excellent <laughs> melee. That was definitely uh, not good. I hope you guys um, are having yeah. an amazing time tuning in for Grand Finals yeah. at Bounce Fast Smash. Yeah, I'm going to take a uh, <laughs> quick bathroom break, by the yeah, way. Yeah, take, take a quick one. Yeah. Um, that, that was definitely interesting. <laughs> I'll take a, a moment to shout out Shik Shik, a.k.a. Ryan Katowski, for, uh, you know, being a sub for so long on the on the Big Blue GG Twitch channel, we appreciate you. We love you. Thank you for your continued support, and we hope to see more of you in the future. And now, as we head on to this uh, game three here on Battlefield, we do have Lemon squaring off against Big Foig once again, but this time with some different scenery. And uh, so far, it's, it's looking all right in terms of everyone's relative uh, damage. But Big Foig coming out with a little bit of an edge, and we saw kind of saw this in the first game as well. Right, here we go. Ooh, nice. Yes, a uh, force smash punch on that shield grabs. Go for that weak back air. And I don't think he's going to be able to up B from there. Yeah, Lemon is going to be gone. Sayonara. We'll catch you next time. See you on the second stock. Big Floyd looking pretty well. 57%. Not bad at all. <laughs> and some kind of cheeky neutral going on there. Jab, shield. Laser, shield. Back and forth, keeping it nice and simple. But Lemon, of course, doing his best to kind of stay grounded and wave that shot of shield. Wow, man, just to get a really weird grab there. Once again, beefs the edge guard, but doesn't get hit by the uh, the forward smash. Just barely, though, keeping it real close. Who goes for a jab, down smash. Big Foig able to get his shield out in time. All right, there we go. Throws him back. Will Big Foig be able to get that Punisher back here from Lemon? Sends him off stage once again. Misses another edge guard. Lemon is just doing the Mr. Lemon, honestly. <laughs> he dropped yeah. so many. I mean, I'm, I'm back. Uh, I mean, I'm surprised uh, Foig taking this with uh with storm he's he's looking pretty composed in this set with lemon um. all right here we go and does the the oh no he does the uh, the reverse up b by accident after a beautiful tornado stall which is going to be unfortunate for him since he's been climbing Ooh. back this entire set and big foig almost killing him off the top of the bomb soldier combo yeah lemon jumping in trying to avoid that bomb soldier as much as possible uh deadly 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 for floatier characters all right, and, uh, you know, still struggling a little bit. We saw earlier that uh, he was getting a lot of his mileage off the grabs, and in this game three thus far, he hasn't really been able to get many. Right there, he gets a back throw, but he hasn't been able to wow. convert off any edge guard situation. Yeah. And the, the, the jab him out, hits him with the Mayweather into the forward smash oh, combo, man. man. That forward smash just so good on Doc at higher percentage. It just sends him flying. And Doc, just a character that, you know, if you wait him out, it, wow. 
doesn't have that many options, but dang, he definitely does have the defibrillator. Lemon's so good at doing that wave dash back forward smash. Yeah. Hits him with it. Because we saw him land that like somewhere between three to five times in the first game, and now it seems like he's bringing it back. You know, when you're falling behind, stick with what you yeah, know. Yeah, there it is again. Oh, and... Up air, nice. Ooh. Yeah, Lemon accidentally walking off the stage there, throwing out the cape a slight frame too late and in the wrong place. It's going to cost him. Yeah, and honestly, he's probably going to get down aired. Oh, wow. Ooh, almost, but that pill actually saved him. You did see Big Foig go for it. Yeah, Foig, Foig not exactly figuring out the pill edge guard just yet. Um, you can definitely tell that he hasn't played Lemon nearly as much as Younger, but as I say that, just finishes off the stock anyways. Up air off the top. Yeah, and I guess that uh, pretty uh, shwaggy. Uh, be at the end there to grab a ledge from uh, the middle of the stage. All right, there you go. Up 2-1. Big Foy holding it down. Lemon can't go back to his, uh, his free chain grab counter pick anymore. He's going to have to work a little bit harder for his game for if he's going to get it on Pokemon Stadium. Ooh, yeah, and these platforms are going to pay a big homage in this matchup. Um, Doc trying to get those up throw tech chases on the platform and Falco shining all day around them. Foy definitely... Definitely one with an interesting combo enders off his shines. Ooh, I love that down throw from Foy, but unfortunately doesn't capitalize on the tech chase. Ooh, all right, gets a jab, but a dash back from Foy Ooh, keeps him alive. Off the top, yep. And how many times have we seen him do that to Lemon? Just yeah. this set. It's, he really goes for those off the top kills, and they, they seem to pay off pretty well. Yeah, you know, Stadium, now that you say that, probably not looking like the best counter pick for Lemon. Uh, it's got some pretty low ceilings. You know, you saw the kill confirm around 100% on the shine. One double shine at mid percents, easily going to take it as well. Yeah. Let's let's hope that Lemon's not going to lose more stocks to the shine because he's getting Ooh. absolutely demolished in this hey. neutral right now. This time it's the down tilt. And the thing is, like, wow. Doc, I mean, like, he's, he's a pretty bad character. Like, he's, oh, he's not bad. He's, he's all right. You know what I mean? He's all right. But in terms of his counter pick stages against Spacey's, like, FD is really the only one he ever wants to go to. And everything yeah. else is just kind of like, I I have to pick something. Yeah, it's just a pseudo FD, I'm guessing, that Lennon's trying to get out of here. And he doesn't really get much of anything off having a top platform. So he says, all right, give me those two side platforms. I'll wow. try to shut something up with the up airs. But Big Foy. Yeah, these transformations not doing well. You can see that dip not doing anything for Lemon in neutral. Foig just kind of camping underneath in that little pit right there, and Lemon just not able to come down on top of him. And Lemon over and over going for these capes, and the thing is, like, while I appreciate the notion, he can cover the same amount of space with other moves that have less lag. So he could back air and where he thinks he's going to up B or side B, yeah. cover it that way, and if he doesn't go that way, still have time to react. Yeah. The fact that he goes for the blanket every single time, it's definitely a really high commitment from Lemon, and you're seeing that he's not getting any payoff from it and then putting himself into a bad scenario afterwards. So, to your point, yeah, he should be going for the more consistent. I'm more just consistent. this back. Ooh, scoops him. Yeah, definitely, definitely fishing for that forward air right there. Part of me wonders if the fact that Mr. Lemon threw out that forward air actually extended his hurt box so that his fist got caught by the up smash. Oh, okay. He looked pretty far away yeah. from it. And that disjoint with the up smash just so safe for the spacies. The, you know, they got those metal boots, man. Yeah, those prosthetic legs. They're, they're, they're like, Ooh. oh, almost. Fishing with the uh, forward smash. Foig ready to finish this set out, getting the reset. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> you take those. Oh, my God, oh, Nick, what are you doing? This runoff back? If you can get it. <laughs> oh. oh. Some very, uh... Yeah, Lemon just trying to wake him up right there with the defib, but dang, yep, he's still eating these, uh... These oh. forward smashes. Here we go. Okay. He's gonna... All right. <laughs> he runs to his side of the stage. He's gonna start throwing out these pills. Gets, uh, 8% for every single one. So there's a drop down there. Uh, kind of oh, understands yeah, that he's lost already. Or rather, he doesn't understand that, but that's kind of the feeling he has, you know? If he manages to climb back, sure, but, uh, that's not the case. It looks like we're gonna have a reset Big in Grand reset. Finals. <laughs> Will Mr. Lemon be able to win a big blue hosted weekly ever? He's going to have out. to fight for it. On uh, in set two. Game one, back to a uh, All right, starts off with a dash attack. Gets crouch canceled for free, though. Definitely not going to get much off of that at zero without uh, terrible DI. And Big Foig already popping off. Now, because it is a new set, uh, Lemon does get the reset on the FD counter pick, does he not? Right. He can take him back there, of course. So um, I guess it's going to be a testament to whether Lemon can take these games on these other stages because, wow, it, it's going to be really tough for him. Wow. 
Ooh, man. That kind of sucks, but you know, you got to work with what you got. Lemon still kind of holding it down. Big Ford going out the lasers saying, yo, approach me, dog. Approach me, dog. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't even matter because the thing is, you know, Nick gets one or two pills. That's 8 to 16%. Big Ford gets two or three lasers, whatever. That's like five. Yeah. So, you know, he's willing to take that trade. And he's perfectly fine with being on the other side of stage. Yeah, these dog pills, pills really sneaking up. They got, what, 8% on them? Something, yeah. Something heavy. And the other thing That's is. That's a big prescription. What, uh, what I like to. <laughs> he definitely upped that dosage. Lemon likes to do what I call the Akuma, right? Where okay. uh, he kind of, he, he full hops, he throws out one pill, and then he comes down and does another one. So he kind of has like that double Hadouken kind of coming out. But, uh, and I, that catches a lot of people a lot of times just because they try to like jump over it and they get caught. But, ooh, throws him off stage. Nice jab. <laughs> wow, yeah, that down smash coming out so quick. Oh, why did he do? Ah, is that going to work? Okay, it might work. Wow, that wave dash forward tilt. And what we're really noticing is that Lemon is just really slow to react to yeah. to the Firebird. Because that's really what he's looking he for. That's kind of like the free thing. You run out there, you jump, you back air. But every time he's noticed that he's been too slow to react and kind of yeah. just gets a hit instead. Yeah, I think he's respecting that uh, Phantasm a bit too much. Not taking recognition of the scenarios where Foyk just doesn't have the jump. All right, there you go. Gets another jab, but not going to get that grab, of course. Big Foyk way too far away for that conversion slash mix-up to work. But... Yeah, you know, Lemon just threw out the cape up there a few times. Definitely have to make some call-outs, but Foy just kind of recognizing that, getting in there close and then throwing out the attacks. Ooh, Foy with a nice little three-piece combo right there, looking like a, a chicken deal at Popeye's. Ooh, throws him up, Ooh. Kobe. And the big fist. Lemon doing a great job of bouncing those pills in the area where Foy wants to land, forcing them up top, but... Not exactly capitalizing on yeah, this Yeah, he, he gets them up there, but ooh, ooh! We wanted to see something spicy out of that pill reset, but unfortunately not. I'm saying, not my man playing like Smash 4 or something, doing them duck hunt combos with the can or whatever. Oh, man. Ooh, all right. That's going to be a wrap for Big Floyd's penultimate stock. And if uh, we manage to get Mr. Lemon with the, the first game win here, that'll be big for him. We'll have that FD for later, and then you can kind of try to work some magic on Pokemon Stadium afterward, but it looks like that down smash is going to send them back in 1-1. One, one. Yeah, you know, Foyk's kind of, uh, Foyk's not pretty, uh, yeah, sorry, he's not enjoying the uh, the longer match here. I, I see him fishing for a lot more back airs, going for those smash attacks, kind of getting a little impatient. Uh, Lemon definitely moving around a lot more than I saw him did before, and you can kind of see it in the, in the match. Oh, no. Ooh, almost gets the read there. Regardless, uh, Lemon would have lived because of Dreamland and DI. But, ooh, he's going for so many dash attacks. You can tell he's desperately hoping for the uh, for the hard knockdown. And that pill right there is going to save him. Catch yeah. the double jump and get that. Oh, wow, no punish on that forward smash. Decently, wow. okay, throw him off stage, Definitely man. fishing for those forward smashes. Make, make him earn it. Why are you going for that? He's going to get the Kobe? Wow. Is he, is, it's is not so going to do anything for him. Yeah, you see that pill again landing where exactly where Foyg wants to land on stage. Could have just grabbed ledge there, but doesn't gives gives Foyd the stage. And, and that's another thing right there, like Lemon beef and edge guard gets a reverse nair. He's gonna side be high, and he wow. goes for the cape. He just capes the side B again. That's that that's that respect I told you he was given. He's choking on these fire foxes yeah. because he knows if he capes that side B, he's giving him a free recovery. Oh, you choking, see it right there. Choking is like too mild for what's going on. Here. Like, <laughs> this, is, this is like two tiers above choking. It's definitely tough. He had so um, many opportunities in that game to just kind of close it out, right? One time he went for the up smash and converted it into that forward air, but it's on Dreamland. It's not gonna kill. Could have very easily sent him back off stage at a worse angle. But now we have Doc Dittles, the Foy Excuse bringing me? out the Yo? I don't think I I don't think I saw this for a second. Foy getting the reset, but going for Doc? He won that last game, right? Yeah. But I mean I understand because like the last few times they go here, you know, he does that Dr. Mario shenanigans where he throws them up and does it over and over. So he's like, all right, screw that. I'm Ooh. just gonna Ooh, Ooh. yo, Foy got combos? Foy! Let's go, Foy! I thought Lemon was the doc around here, but God, that that clear combo, it, he's just going to eat it. He's, Lemon's definitely got to wake up after that one. Ooh, but that Kobe wow. going to send Big Foy packing first. But, I mean, right there, Big Foy did a little bit of anything you can do, I can do better, man. Yeah, so. you know, you and I are both surprised that the doc did a raid here. Uh, I, I was surprised mainly because even though it's FD, you, can, you have the whole cast of characters. Why choose the ditto against the man himself? Hey, I mean, sometimes, because the thing is, right, Ooh. as we were talking about earlier, Mr. Lemon is really the only wow. doc in New England. Does he even know the Ditto matchup? Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like Lemon's definitely figured out a little bit of Foyk's tools here and taking a 
full advantage of that. Uh, knowing that Foyk doesn't really know what to do when he needs to move in. Lemon just kind of camping him out and yeah. Yeah, giving him the real hard punishes. At this point, you can actually tell like very clearly from the neutral that Foyg is not yeah. Uh, <laughs> not a seasoned doc veteran. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. My man is running forward, throwing out yeah. Hail Marys left and right. You're, you're going to see him jumping in with attacks, and Lemon just wave dash in and eating him up. And, like, uh, the thing is, even. Oh, ooh, okay, Foy. Okay. Guess a little bit That's of something a little there. Bit. I definitely gassed him up way too much because he's getting absolutely shot on, but, you know, <laughs> he's, he's nah. making some moves. Okay, yeah, and that's going to be uh, Mr. Lemon's second stock, Foy. Uh, wiping his head a little bit. Said, uh, just another day in the life. <laughs> Ooh, okay. And he, there we go. Lemon throwing out some pills. Foy maneuvering his way around. Ooh, jab down smash. The Mr. Lemon slash Dr. Mario classic. Anti-airs with the up smash. What more you got? Talk to Ooh. him. What else? What else? Yeah. Gets the hard down smash. That's a wrap. Foy kind of knows it. He kind of knows he stepped into foreign territory. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, he gets to go back to Falco. Uh, Mr. Lemon had to take time to adjust that previous matchup, and now he has to go, oh, crap, back to the Falco matchup again. Really got to think about what he was doing in game one, but now we in game three. A lot more time to think. Hey, man, I hope he enjoyed it because I sure did. He definitely threw out that sweet combo at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Definitely threw me for a loop. I was Chris. I, I can't even lie. I was like, okay, Foy. But now Foy's saying, yeah, forget about the doc, man. I am a Falco at heart oh. and almost gets gimped there. And see, the thing is, like, on any other stage, Doc can fast fall back air and get that edge guard. Mm. But right here, he would have gotten, like, pineapple under the uh, yeah. the battlefield side. But it doesn't even matter because he was able to get that back wow. air on the other side of the stage later. Wow. And, and see, this is what I was worried about. Uh, the Switching to a character mid-set, especially when you're up, is, is kind of risky. Uh, Lemon, still used to the punish game, gets a few quick ones on Foig before he's able to bring his composure back. And it, Wow, Ooh. and it's going to cost him because that forward smash, racking on the percent, might not get Throw the stock, up. but okay. one hit and he's off. See, I like that from Lemon. He he didn't feel like overly committing to a tech option with the forward air to decide where he's going to guess <laughs> and try to react with an air. A little bit late, unable to get it. Uh, I'm kind of loving the way Foig's trying to invent ways to deal with Lemon's pills. Definitely not. Um, Definitely didn't come in with a game plan for it. And yeah. he's, he's, he's costing him dearly. And the thing with Lemon is, like, have you seen the way this man tries to edge guard? Like, the timing is just so off. Because yeah. I understand what he's trying to do. He's trying to get out there and throw the cape, like, cover no matter what angle you go, you get cape. But he goes out so late that it just whiffs, and then he ends up off stage and in a terrible position that Falco can absolutely destroy Doc for being it. Yeah. And it, Lemon just doing so nicely, cleaning up stocks in those scenarios where you can't approach Doc that like that. You know, he gets the crouch cancel off and a quick down smash. And Lemon just giving him the, the bread and butter Doc stuff. Wow. Ooh, all right. Lands at a Cobington. Go down there and back. Holy crap. Yeah, Lemon. definitely I'm going for the hard smack cape. I'm going to smack him later. Definitely going for the hard cape. <laughs> because the, uh, the thing is, this, this, is the, this is the Falco. I'm not even Falco. This is the, the spacey bread and butter. You hit them out of their phantasm. They are forced they are to forced. up B, yeah. and you just punish them and go down there and hit them before they have a chance yeah. to mix you up. But and the thing just... about Falco is he doesn't really get many rinse repeats like Fox does. So right. Just one back air, and it can and cost the game. And he's dead. Wow. Right? No startup flames, nothing to be afraid of. And Whatever. just like I said, Foyk just having too, too hard of a time to adjust back to Falco. Right. It's, it's real tough because you saw Lemon getting a few free punishes off where Foyk just wasn't picking his feet back up. And it also looked like, I don't know, like it just – didn't work in Foyt's favor. He might have thought, all right, if I play Doc for a game, he might forget what, he, what he's figured <laughs> out, you know. But in instead, it looks like Lemon is just understanding more and more. He's just playing melee, man. He's just getting yeah. better as the game progresses. Ooh, all right. Covers every tech option with that down smash. Nice forward air. Drop down back air. Oh, goes for the cape. Oh, and that's the one time I think he should have done it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the back air would have led into another edge guard as an opportunity. Right. So, so there I will agree with you, but even I would have done the back air there. Uh, a lot I mean, of it is like it's just based on speed, like how fast, yeah. you, how fast you recognize the situation and react mm -hmm. to it. Because you can definitely throw out that back air right. a lot sooner. It's definitely a lot safer of an option. Ooh, up tilt. All right, Ooh. guess the up air. He's got to live, though. Good yeah, DI from Mr. Lemon. Yeah, I thought he was dead, but I guess not. Oh, no. Ooh, yeah, he messed up there. Did that turnaround and mm -hmm. then... You know, kind of messed everything up. Foyk still not knowing how to deal with the kills gets one anyways. And honestly, this is this is a godsend for for Doctor <laughs> for Doctor Mario just because he thrives off of Spacey's being in knockdown, and a lot yeah. of the time they'll crouch cancel his stuff, sub like 40, 50 percent. But if he's able to throw out these pills and just kind of get that percent without really having to try, well, all right, it's a wrap. Ooh, and 
Falco at that really nice percentage where he can get nicely on the stage with that upward angle. But dang, my man. Lemon just getting that up throw, forward air, confirm off, takes the stock. And for whatever reason, that dunk right there seemed particularly forceful. Like, remind me back of the days where Shaq would, like, break the <laughs> rim when he would dunk. Oh, yeah, he'd shake it. I, I know remember. exactly what you mean. You'd hang up there for an extra yeah, second. Yeah, there'd be like there was a moment in NBA history where like they had to he had to pay so much money just to like prepare the the, the, the <laughs> basketball courts he was dunking on just because he would he would shatter the he's glass. Slamming the glass, yeah. He's looking at his defender as he's as he's holding on. Right. To the rim. <laughs> he's like, what you got, you, man? You see what I just did? Ooh, and Floyd doing the same right there, just holding on to that ledge, saying, see you later, Lemon. Yeah, he said, don't worry. I ain't the only one who can talk, man. I'll talk to you back. But Lemon said, can you, though? Ooh. Bye. -bye. That bad DI, he's, wow. Why do you grab the oh. ledge? <laughs> oh. Yeah, definitely. Lemon. Definitely Yo a me. hilarious situation right there. Yo uh, <laughs> that, could, that could be the tournament. Yeah. That, I mean, that could sure. be the tournament, and it, it, it's going to be upsetting that, yeah, tournament stock for Floyd, yeah. right? He's he's out there. He's trying his best to clap back. Throwing out these down airs, wow. but overshooting. And yeah, and Wave Lemon even knows that just one more of those, Floyd's probably done for. Ooh, but that Ooh. back air, eating through the pill this time. He was having a hard time getting those mm. earlier. And you see it. The one time he has the answer, he gets the stock the first time. Lemon expecting to have the free entry, but no, not this time. Yeah, and honestly, this could be like one of those few times that Mr. Lemon's able to win a big blue event. People kind of at the edge of their seats. Big Foig, of course, retaliating, but he gets sent off stage. We'll be able to recover. Ooh. Finally, Lemon there gets an edge go. guard, and he wins. And he takes it. Balance patch, melee number go. three. Definitely, definitely a four. Great number set. four. You get yeah. balance patch smash number, number four. four. Congratulations to Mr. Lemon great for. Set. Finally, kind of holding it down. Um, did go to a reset. Big Foig, of course, no slouch. Managed to hold mm. it down, but Lemon finally able to, you know, do it. There, there are quite a lot of upsets. Big Foig walking his way into yeah. into losers finals, making his way to grands. You know, you didn't expect it. You you thought it was going to be a younger.